Welcome to the Defeat the Drama podcast, where you'll learn tips, tricks, and strategies to help you gain clarity, find purpose, live boldly, and defeat the drama in leadership and life. Host Kirsten E. Ross is known to many as the drama-free queen. She is the undisputed expert of transformation. She'll move you from resigned, resentful, and overwhelmed to focused, engaged, and empowered. Welcome to the Defeat the Drama podcast. I'm Kirsten Ross, your host, and this is episode number 90. Drama zaps energy and steals focus, so let's defeat some drama now. This episode is sponsored by Pillar Social Media. They do some great stuff on the internet. If you need help with your social media, Twitter, Facebook page, anything like that for your business, check them out. They also do some great websites. Go to PillarSocialMedia.com. So today I'm going to be asking, is fear a factor? It's time to take an inventory. How often is it that fear stops you in your tracks? How many excuses do you make to avoid doing what you fear? We all have them. Some activity, conversation, task that we don't want to do. But I want to ask you, what would your life look like if you started busting through those fears? How different would it be? What have you missed out on, avoided, that could have been great? What avoidance tactics have altered the course of your life and your work and not in a good way? Fear can be a big, overpowering thing. And as humans, we will take the path of least resistance unless there is a catalyst. I often share a story about my son to illustrate what fear can look like in our lives. Left unchecked, it has a tendency to grow, dominate, get bigger. So when my oldest son was young, he had a fear of thunderstorms. It's not unusual, but his was getting worse. He was too young to understand what was going on, so to him it was just a lot of noise. At first, he just needed to be cuddled or express concern when there was a storm. Over time, though, he began to head for cover in our basement when he heard thunder. Once when we were camping in our RV, I woke to find him sleeping in a storage area under the couch. We had had a storm during the night. He was afraid to come to me because it was a distance that probably felt huge as a little guy in a dark camper. And so instead, he was trying to shield himself from all the noise underneath this couch in this little cubby. As he grew, so did his fear. Soon he was feeling afraid when it rained. Rain might bring thunder. He would hide in the basement. Then clouds began to scare him. Clouds might bring rain, and rain might bring thunder. He would hide in the basement. Then he became fearful when there was wind. Wind might bring clouds. Clouds could bring rain, and rain might mean thunder. And he'd hide in the basement. I watched as this fear grew and grew, and it was so painful because I really didn't know what to do. Thankfully, he has worked his way back through the fears and does fine during storms now. You know, as soon as he got even old enough to help him understand the science behind the noise, it got a little better. But I want to ask you, where is fear doing something similar in your life? It might not be storms, but something else. Go check out the show notes. I have a graphic of all kinds of different fears that often plague adults. Just go to DefeatTheDrama.com, click on the podcast site, and find the show notes for episode 90. Here are just some of them that I have. Public speaking, being wrong, networking, looking silly, not being good enough, getting divorced, Selling your products or service, feeling vulnerable, hurting someone's feelings. There are so many things that stop us in our tracks daily and often we don't even realize it. So today I want you to think about where is fear shifting the trajectory of your life or your work? Where is it growing like a blob and taking over everything? What impact is it having? Where is it stopping you? I'm going to ask you to make a commitment over the next 30 days to take one risk per day. Not a physical risk like skydiving or a roller coaster. Not an adrenaline rush risk. No, I'm asking you to get out of your comfort zone. Do that thing that you've been avoiding. 
Begin to expand your life one action at a time. Here are just some of the things that I mean. And again, these will be in the show notes for episode 90. So make that call, take that class, go to that event, have the conversation, go to loan somewhere, admit that you're wrong, ask for help, read a chapter in that book, make the investment, make that presentation, ask for that raise, make that request, set that boundary, share your opinion, risk being wrong. I mean, the list goes on and on. So the list that you'll find will be a starting point, but certainly there are things that would be directly aligned with fears that are stopping you now. So it's just about learning to get out of your comfort zone day by day to break away those fears and make your life larger. What's the bigger impact that you could make? So that's all for today. Thanks for listening and taking the time out of your what I know is a busy, busy day. I always appreciate it. And you know, if you get value out of this podcast, please share it with others. Let others know the value and let's get on a mission together to defeat drama. And if you need a more more comprehensive help with your team, contact me. This is what I do. I would love to help. Just go to defeatthedrama.com, click on the podcast site, and go to submit your question. I'll give you some customized solutions on a future episode. Or if you need more individualized help, let's have a conversation and see how I can help you defeat drama in your work or in your life. Until next time, make it a great day. 